welcome to mrc videos so in this session we are going to discuss about isomorphism and subgraph two graphs are equivalent then we can call that graphs are isomorphic for that equivalency we have to discuss some of the properties two graphs are said to be equivalent then if they have identical behavior in terms of graph theoretical properties so we have to define some of the properties so both the graph must contain the same kind of properties then you can say that both the graphs are isomorphic two graph g1 and g2 are said to be isomorphic if there is a one to one correspondence between their vertices and between their edges one to one correspondence in the sense that there must be equal number of vertices and equal number of edges let me say that suppose edge e11 is uh, in g1 is incident on the vertices v11 and v12 then corresponding edge e21 in g2 must be incident on the vertices v21 and v22 so if there is a edge which is connecting any two vertices in graph 1 then there must be another one edge which is also connecting the same two kind of vertices in graph number 2 then you can say that the graph is isomorphic let us discuss with an example now you consider the graph a and graph b in graph a the first one for more condition we have to check is number of vertices it is five vertices and six edges so graph b five vertices and six edges so there is a possibility of these two graphs may be isomorphic so obviously the same number of vertices same number of edges and equal number of vertices with a given degree value that's what we are saying as a isomorphic which means that here the vertex b the degree value 2 the vertex a degree value 3 vertex c is also degree value 3 vertex d is also degree value 3 and e is with the degree value 1 and parallelly we having the vertices so let me say that here we having e so the role of e here the role of v5 that is here we having degree value is 1 here degree value is 1 and then similarly a c d here i am having the degree values all the remaining degree values so these graphs are said to be isomorphic so you can check with the examples now you consider these two graphs number of vertices in this graph is 6 number of edges in this graph is 5 and here number of vertices is 6 number of edges is 5 number of vertices with degree value 1 is 3 and here also number of vertices with degree value 1 is 3 so here w and then uh, v and then this particular vertex and here this vertex and this vertex and then this w number of vertices with degree value 2 is actually 2 here also number of vertices with degree value 2 is also 2 and then number of vertices with degree value 3 is 1 and here also number of vertices with degree value is 3 is 1 so that only one vertex contain degree value 3 so obviously in this graph x is a degree value 3 and here y is a degree value 3 even though all the properties are satisfied so according to first number of vertices is same as that of number of edges here number of vertices same as to number of vertices number of edges is same as to number of edges and these all properties are satisfied even though all properties are satisfied the role of x is actually not played by role of y because the x is actually connected with two pendant vertices e and v but here y is connected with only one pendant vertex w so that these two graphs are not said to be isomorphic so if you want to check the isomorphic first and foremost condition is number of vertices and number of edges the third condition is the role played by one vertex and then there exists another one vertex available in the other graph even though these three conditions are satisfied some of the graphs may not be a isomorphic graph and a graph g is uh, small g said to be a subgraph of g if all the vertices and all the edges of g is in g capital g then you can say that it is actually a subgraph so the graph b is a subgraph of a so here we are defining on graph a and this is actually a subgraph of this particular a so all the edges and vertices of this particular subgraph which is available in this main graph so for subgraph every vertex of g is a subgraph of g so every vertex we can consider as a subgraph and similarly every edge of g is also called as a subgraph of g a subgraph of subgraph g is also called as a subgraph of g so if i am defining one subgraph from this particular subgraph a subgraph of subgraph of g is also a subgraph so that a subgraph can be defined and every graph its own subgraph so you can consider the whole graph as a subgraph edge disjoint subgraph two subgraph g1 and g2 of capital g is defined as if g1 and g2 does not have any edges in common then we can say that it is a edge disjoint subgraph 
vertex to join subgraph means obviously the vertex must not be common then you can say that those two subgraphs are vertex to join subgraphs then we will discuss an example uh, by constructing a graph you can solve a problem the problem is you are given with four color cubes the six faces of every cube are variously colored with blue green red and white so is it possible to stack the cubes on top of another one in a column such that no color no color appears twice on any of the four sides of the column so we have to uh, place cube one by one so obviously we are having six faces of cubes are available so if i am placing the cube one by one there are four sides are there so you have to arrange the colors in which no two colors are appeared more than once so what i am going to do means i am going to uh, consider a cube structure a cube contains six different faces so that i am considering a cube as a box so i am folding this cube so this particular side is opposite to this particular side and this the height is opposite to this particular side and this one is opposite to this side or otherwise we can say that left and right so this is left side and this is right side and this is front side and this particular part is actually a back side this is top and bottom side is there if one color is fixed on the front side there exists another one color is fixed on the back side and similarly if there is one color is fixed on the left hand side then there exists one color is fixed on the right hand side and and top as well as bottom so what i am going to do means i am going to draw a graph so let us consider an example so this is cube number 1 cube number 2 cube 3 and cube 4 so in cube number 1 so you consider this is actually left hand side and this is right hand side and this is front and this is back and this is top side and this is bottom side so if left hand side if in cube number 1 if i am placing this red means automatically in the right hand side i am having a green color and similarly in cube 2 cube 3 and so on by using this i am drawing a graph i am placing all the four colors as a vertices red color green white and then blue if two colors are opposite to each other so in the first cube red is opposite to green so i am drawing a edge from uh, red to green so this one is indicating it is from first cube and in the first cube this actually r is opposite to r so here i am drawing a self loop we are starting from r and we are ending at r itself and the first cube b is opposite to w so there is b and then here i am having w so a graph is constructed with respect to the opposites so here all the colors are mentioned each and every opposite colors are represented by using the edges similarly i am drawing for cube 2 and cube 3 and then cube 4 now this is actually the original graph which is constructed by using the given problem now what we are going to do we have to place the cubes one by one so in which no two colors are appeared more than once in all four columns so what we are going to do means from this original graph i am going to construct two subgraphs so from this graph i am constructing two different subgraphs so that i can able to get the result so you can consider this is north south subgraph so north and and south side i am having black and white for the first cube second cube red and green and then w uh, white and green and blue and red and in the east and west side i am having all the four graphs so these are the main applications of a graph by using the graph this problem is easily solved so color cubes problems can be easily represented by using graph and which can be easily solved by graph theory also thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you